следующий. Здравствуйте. Let's get to it. The noise on the table. Some people believe food comes from the supermarket. I'm not one of them. Spinning, light spinning rod right, with some braid on it and uh, number one oh, hooks and some calamari chaka as braid. We drop down to the bottom and uh, that's where the sea breams live and where they feed. So we drop down to the bottom and uh, wait for them to take the bait and up and it's on and dinner is on the table. That's a nice channel. Ik weet niet, ik moet toch spelen. Stu keepers, stu keepers, stu keepers. If you catch your own fish and you prepare it and you eat it, that's the best feeling to eat your own fish with your call. Do it too. Here we go. Do you know your fish too? Sushi. Marisha said he made a good promise. He said you're catching fish today. It's amazing out here. What type of fish is it? Rock fish. This is a lottery of fish. I mean, we're just pulling in tons of them. My sister's still gonna guess to do this one. Watch it. Putting on a bigger piece of bait to see if I can't catch a bigger piece of fish. Bigger fish. Oh, that's a fighter. Also a nice one. Nice. Oh, yes. Oh, it's my biggest one yet. I could feel it. I got a nice one. Which one is blue? Which one is blue? That's a got a nice one. Yay! That's the story. I'm having dinner at night. <laughs> The seal came up just behind the fish. Goeie yeah. genuchte. I'm going to steal my dinner. This is your biggest of the day. Yeah, it's the biggest of the day. Yeah. I forgot to suck in my gut for the photo. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'm feeling. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. No, it's, 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 it's amazing. It's amazing. We're just moving back onto the reef so we can drift across it again. Drift fishing. Drift. Like you're drifting. Drift across the reef. Any bites yet? No. Well, obviously the previous one was fantastic, but we we need a challenge. Okay. We need to feel like we're bringing some skills to the table. Nice. 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 Nice.
Did you see him? No. <laughs> okay, that was a big one that, that really they got really away. got away. <laughs> He was, he was big, he was heavy. Was but huge. he loved my boot! <laughs> oh, okay. Sometimes the big ones do get away. <laughs> On the swing, work, on the I'm coming! Let's <laughs> catch it this time! There we go, nice! Oh. It's also leaving my bag for me. <laughs> That's a good consolation. It's a good one. This reminds me when we were young, is we used to fish these waters together. So that's why we're here, bringing back memories. We're going to try some pike bait instead of the squid. So I mix it. More items on the menu for the fish. <laughs> <laughs> More items on the menu. It's great way of putting it. <laughs> some, some fish prefers a different bite. Some okay. like, some like a cold beer. Some like a mixed martini. <laughs> so we're going for the mixed martini right now. Little rockfish stealing all yeah, my bait. The gurnet. The gurnet? Oh, What's the gurnet? It's a gurnet. And he makes a little little barky kind of sound. So in Afrikaans it's called the knorran because it knors. Knors means grunting. So it's like a, He's cute. It's like a grunter. Oh, it's a knorran. <laughs> Yes. Bye, my mommy. Time to go. Bye. -bye. The previous spot you just had to, <laughs> yeah, I have to cast and, I have to and hook. Yeah, I have to work for it now. <laughs> they were, you could feel them bite before your hook or was on the ground over there. Here you have to catch it. Like this. Yeah. Oh, that's a big fish. They thought we were gonna start in the boat. In the boat. Ah! <laughs> Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, you must have to do it. Yeah, you must have to do it. You must have to do it. Also going to catch something? No, 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 no. I, okay, I'm not good. I have to check. You have to check. They were sneaky. I'll see the sneaky one. Oh, they're a oh, wood! Oh. <laughs> oh, they were just watching Red Roman so bad. You don't want the Red Romans. See, these ones are nice. See the colors here. See, here. looks like an eye from the top. That's why they're like this. You see, it looks like a big fish from the. You see? Looks like two eyes. I just saw a sunfish. I saw it's, it's been sticking out of the water. It's just one of those humongous flat fish. Very, very big. I've never seen fish that grow on the rock. It's like a moor rock. He says he thought his fish were getting bigger, but he realized he's just getting more tired. <laughs>
seen my brother Jakubus in about uh, 10 years. So I live in the United States and he lives here in Cape Town. So we just had a nostalgic fishing trip like we did when we were kids. And it was a fantastic day. Fish were running, it just felt, took us back to when we grew up. Loved every moment of it. Hi there, Catch Cook viewers. I was on the fishing trip with Corbus and Annelise. You didn't get to see me during the fishing part of the video because I was behind the camera. However, in between the shots, I managed to catch some of my own Cape Bream. Corbus and Annelise were so generous to share some of the Bream that they caught. You can have some fish. What a great story of brother and sister reuniting and bonding through the thrill of fishing. Today I'm going to make some whole baked Cape Bream, herb stuffed with garlic butter and dill sauce. And we're going to have that with roasted baby potatoes, a variety of veggies and cherry tomatoes. Let's get to it. I hadn't made fish in a while, so this was an interesting meal to prepare. There's no specific way to season the veggies. I personally like to keep the spices to a minimum and not let them adulterate the natural flavors. So just a bit of oregano, a bit of salt and pepper, and olive oil. Some people like to boil the potatoes first before roasting them because they take slightly longer than the other veggies to cook. But I figured since they are baby potatoes, they wouldn't take long to cook. And there was some butternut in the mixture. And it takes just about as long as the potatoes to cook. As for the fish, I had already gutted and cleaned it the previous day and just let it marinate in a bit of white wine overnight in the fridge. The taste of the sea, salt water, and strong flavor of fresh fish can be a little overbearing for me. So this takes care of that, and it also gives the fish an earthy flavor. I drizzled the fish with some olive oil in the cavity, stuffed it with some garlic, some dill, and lemon slices. You don't have to use butcher's twine to tie it all together, but it helps to keep everything nice and tucked while the fish cooks. after tying it so that the twine does not slide into the cuts and absorb some of the skin seasoning. Again, I kept it simple with olive oil, salt, and pepper. I like the skin of the fish to be a bit crisp, so what I do is I put the fish on a high rack in the oven and use the top element and slightly more heat to sear it, being careful not to burn it. Then after about five minutes, switch it to a bottom rack so that the bottom is seared as well while the rest of the fish cooks. For the asparagus, I toasted for about three minutes in a pan and did the same for the cherry tomatoes. And there you have it. As the fish cooked, I prepared the garlic butter and dill sauce. It's very simple. You just melt a knob of butter in a small pot, add minced garlic, and cook it gently until fragrant. Remove from the heat and stir in chopped dill, lemon juice, and salt to taste. I got carried away a little while cooking the fish and I overcooked it. 
which is easy to do with fresh fish. So don't make the same mistake I did. <laughs> to win this awesome Catch Cook t-shirt, subscribe to the Catch Cook channel and tell us your dream fishing destination in the comment section below.